There we go. Hello, everyone. Shut up, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, my name. Yeah, my name is Jade, and I'm your hostess for the evening. With. Yo, you're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's Halloween, guys. The nice when ghosts and goblins come out to play, eh? What are you trying to do? Ruin mine? I mean, um, Ed's Halloween? <laughs> And FYI, guys, uh, he's just fake crying. No, that's not the cow one. Or oh, where the animal was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, yeah. And today we're doing Top 10 Scary. V Meets Urban Legends Part 2. I was so happy that you guys wanted a Part 2 so that Nightfall could join in. Yeah, <laughs> let's... We're going with more creepy stories. Number 10. The daughter of Hugh Wee Wap. This comes from Saigon in 1933 bur building of He Bi Wa. Okay, on top, it reported that 20,000 properties were in the city, that, this, that the he was very rich. The main one was the family mansion. His daughter contracted epilepsy and confined to a bedroom on the upper floor. So back then, many believed, yeah, due to this, yeah, okay, due to the reputation, it's illness, it quickly arranged a public, you know, the girl was still alive, though, and slid under the door. She lived like this for years, until her loneliness drove her mad, she took her own life, and still visit that house. It is now the Museum of Art. <clears throat> The girl roaming the halls at, at night to hear the sounds of groaning of crying on the upper floor. Number nine, Toe Leech River. This is known as now a pretty dirty river. It's been it got a sinister reputation. On September twenty twenty seventh, they were construction work was being done. A strange ancient relic, seven wooden panels buried under the river. And what a polygon from above bones nailed to them. They also discovered some objects, polypy, elephant bones, all the crew pulled up. Strange things began to happen. The work was affected, and one of the workers one of the workers fell and drowned in the water, never seen again. And remained unconscious for hours. A week after the incident started to which ranged from accidents to illnesses to even death. They believed a curse. A few weeks after the company, four spiritual experts came in. That the items they pulled up were part of a long, buried, ancient structure guarding the area. He died a month later from an illness. Scientists were stumped as well. That the skeletons were most likely not been disturbed. The villagers put them back where they put they found them as the curse has now been lifted for now. Number eight. Room 216. This is known as Te Coco. In the early 2014, this man was staying with his wife inside in Saigon in 215 and woken up at 2.30 in the morning from an argument next door. From 21's voices shouting, attics were smashed, banging on the walls. And someone ran down the stairs. The other person banged on it a few more times, and nowhere tried to get into their room. Two one five. They froze on their bed. The banging stopped. A pouring sound. It sounded like someone was emptying a bucket right out their door. It was crystal clear. He ran to the door with the bottle in hand. When he suddenly opened it, there was no one there. They barely slept that night out of fear. In the morning, they said no one had been in that room for days. They told them what they saw. And the staff insisted. This another guest had forgotten their key card and was banging around. He was lying in chain 
She overheard their conversation and weren't the first guest complained about strange going on on that floor. They asked the staff to agree to show them last night's tape. 2.30 in the morning, nothing happened. In 2.35, he saw himself open the door and look out into the hallway before going back inside. They were freaked out. They knew, seeing something, what was going on in 216. And why were the staff trying to hide it? Number seven. That lit house. This says this has literally scared both tourists and the residents of Vietnam. Legend said it's a ghost house. It's a colonial French rule that in station in the despicable acts of the pain souls that remain there. During America's Vietnam War, a woman was killed. She was so distraught, she hung herself. And and her how her soul has been there taken there to be murdered there and been set up to own up the dead and own triggered number six million team mintai high school this is a high school in vietnam during the french colonials colonization country the student goes there it's a girl dressed in a pearl dye which is a traditional vietnamese costume she may have killed herself on the highest floor of the clock tower in that high school. Rumor has it that the girl was somewhere in the school, but its location is closely guarded. Only because of the student often's report seeing a purple ghost along with strange lights and weird noises even can be heard. And the school even made major renovations to kind of cut the ghostly sighting. Number five. The footprints. This was... This this was shared by a Redditor, um, a name I'm going to try and pronounce. You say our Red, I'm probably saying it wrong, I'm sorry. And born in Australia, would often visit his, fam his family in Vietnam. He was staying with his great auntie. And got called over time. One day, his parents and siblings went to a relative's grave to pray. He chose to stay at home. He was ill, and it was hot outside. He was watching TV with his great aunt. She was falling asleep. When she she sat bolt up, what was wrong? She said seeing someone walk in through the front door and go upstairs. He thought she was seeing things. That night, he and his sibling shared a room upstairs. He found it quite hard to sleep. He would wake up anyway. He woke up some pressure. He he saw a little girl running up the few steps of the stairs. He was shocked. He got up to the top of the surf. There was a pair of wet footprints and sleeping in. There was there was no footprints leading up. In the morning, his sister told him every time she had fallen asleep, she kept dreaming of a little girl and just standing there. So neighbors revealed when they went to find the neighbors, because the sister dreamt of a little girl coming up the stairs, the neighbors revealed that they had lost their daughter a few years ago in a flash flood. Definitely seen them. Number four, the delivery. A young girl, she, a young girl, a refrigerator for her house to tell them to deliver it. The, the delivery man takes it to her home. An old woman opens the door. She says that there made some mistake. She refused to take the refrigerator and says nobody here ordered that. Naturally, the delivery man is confused. He takes it she, and looks at the name, age, and address of the girl on the receipt. She bursts into tears. It was the name of her daughter who died in a, in a traffic accident. The man went back to the store and confronted the person who took the order. He no, thought they were fooling around with him. The cashier swore that the girl that she was real. Even the exact amount of money in the money proof. But the girl had bought the refrigerator. Her mother desperately needed. Number three. Hold on. This in in English is called Stone Lake. People an unsp uncomfortable spooky feeling to this. It, although it may seem pristine on the surface, do not swim if you swim there it's cursed. It's a, in a five-year period. Pe Twenty people fur found dead, far higher than you think. Some say it's a dangerous hangout spot, as the cliffs are very high and the water very deep. They say death and this number the work of the paranormal. 
that the lake is haunted is pulling people to their water grave. Number two, the organs. In 1959, an or that the police have found of seven children in Guyana. The bodies had no, and the people were going around and killing kids on the street in August to harvest their organs and sell them. One mother was interviewed by the media. She always, but since the discovery of the graves, she decided to always teach her, her children with her, even, at, even when they're at home. She wasn't alone in this fear. Some communities are acutely aware of this. They may not be true, but it's better to be safe than safe. Number one, the rock ape. This one comes from Craig PJ, who's a Vietnam veteran, who, who d during the war. One day, he was taking a hike through the jungle with their heavy backpacks. They felt a strange presence in the jungle around them. Everything seemed quiet. The old police shake, then in some trees 15 yards away. At first, okay, yes, a soldier ahead. Yeah, yeah, yes. On two feet, carefully watching the men. At first, they thought it was some sort of very big orangutan. Then orangutans don't live in Vietnam. What it was, the creature just slinged back into the jungle. Well, guys, that was more of the scary story. Fascinating countries. I've always wanted to go to Vietnam. So if you're from there, let me know in what city. Because I think it's a beautiful city and a beautiful country. The more of them I went to visit. No, I don't. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell them. Alright, uh, my name is Jade, and I'm your hostess, signing out. Woohoohoo! Come on, boys, it's trick or treating time. Nice nut costume, Lumpy. Alright, let's get Boo Ha Ha working on.